you all must be aware of that $5 IoT button by Amazon called Amazon Dash. Amazon brought this button into the market for the ease of customers so that customer can easily order the product by just pressing the button. Some of the hackers and techies also tried to hack this button and they even succeeded. They hacked it for the personal use. You can do anything by pressing that button. So let's take this topic to the next level. Let's make our own Amazon Dash button. Okay, so this all are the component which you will require to make your own IoT button. So number first is the ESP8266 LED development board, a push button, a LED, a 330 ohm and 10k resistor and some connecting wires. So first of all we will take a breadboard as we will test it on a breadboard. We will connect a ESP8266 FIFO module over it. Then we will attach a push button and a LED. We will be connecting this push button at the D1 pin and the LED to the D0 pin of uh, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Uh, the button pin that is the D1, uh, D1 pin is by default pulled down to ground via 10k resistor. So as soon as we press the button, uh, the signal pin or the D1 pin will be will go high through the switch. Okay, so these are all the connections required for the IoT button. Now let's move towards the code. Okay, so there was nothing in the hardware of the IoT button. The whole thing, the whole service is provided to the software or we can say the internet. So let us discuss the logic behind this or how this button works or communicate through the air. So first of all, uh, you need to be familiar with this word IFTTT. We will open this IFTTT.com website. This is an amazing service. IFT st IFTTT stands for if this, then this. So it's basically a logic we are creating that if this happens, then do this. So basically we are uh, providing a, a logical what can say condition like if the button is pressed do this if the button is pressed play music if the button is pressed uh, post and status on my Facebook page. So likewise you can make the conditions using this if did or we can say IFTTT. So how to use this service. So first of all you need to make an account. I'm already logged into my account. And in this, we need to create the recipes here. Yeah, this condition are named as a recipes in this uh, website. There are a lot, lot of the recipes already created. Uh, just like we can go through the recipes. Okay, these are some uh, trending or uh, recipes. Just like turn off Wi-Fi when my phone battery is low. This is one of the recipe. Send location to the field and track how much time you spend at a certain location. Uh, this is quite interesting. And uh, there are a lot many recipes like if rain tomorrow, get a notification. A lot other things. Send a text or email. Mute your phone when you arrive at the work and a lot other recipes are there. So these all are basically uh, services of uh, conditions for one service to another. Uh, like uh, uh, from the service provided by this uh, location or the GPS to our smartphone. But what we gonna do is we're gonna connect this embedded system to uh, or we can we'll be giving a condition through our embedded system or a circuit and uh, if this uh, service or this uh, circuit becomes true or the logic becomes true uh, we're gonna do uh, anything further so we're gonna embed this uh, circuit into this network now how we can uh, send this signal of the circuit uh, into this IFTTT for that uh, you need to first of all go to my recipes or I think create new recipes. Okay, create a recipe. Okay, if you clear, you can clearly see that if this, then that. First of all, we need to define this condition. So we will click on the this condition, and we will search for a channel called Maker. Maker is a channel through which we can uh, send the signal from an embedded system to the server, or we can say uh, to the internet. So we'll click on the Maker, and yeah, you need to make an account. In this maker uh, channel also and uh, which I already done so you just need to click on this receive a web request means this condition will be satisfied whenever it will receive a web request so we need to uh, assign a name of the event mm, let's say that test one or we can say example because test have, uh, I already used this test so let us say the event name is example create trigger okay so if example 
event occurs or the example uh, page request uh, happens then what we need to do so we will we'll click on that we need to choose an action we can choose any action just like uh, your android device we can play music we can uh, what we can do let's see android device, we can update our device wallpaper play, play specific song play music set ringtone volume mute turn off wi-fi turn on bluetooth the solar conditions uh, what other conditions are there? Let me see back. So we can send an Android SMS. Uh, there are a lot of services. Actually, I'm also not familiar with all the services, but I am familiar with some of the services. This is Gmail, Google Drive, and uh, IF notification. This is simply for the notification. iOS photos, LinkedIn, and there are many, many other services. So you need uh, time to explore all the services. Okay, so I will just uh, play a music on my smartphone. So I will create a Android device and I will click the play music button. Okay, the create action. So this simply created a recipe that if maker event example happens, then play the music on my smartphone. Okay, huh, you need to download an app of IFTTT on your smartphone and you need to, what you can say, link your Android device to, to this IFTTT. Then and then only it will play music on your phone rather than on other phone. So this is a recipe of maker event example, then play music. Okay, so we'll click, uh, this is for the notification. Uh, this will notify you whenever the recipe or whether the maker event triggers. So we'll create just, just create a recipe. Okay, this is a recipe is created. Now how to use this recipe or how we can trigger this uh, action or command or what, whatever you can see. So first of all, you need to be familiar with what makers do or this maker channel do. Maker channel, uh, here it is given or not, I don't know. Mm, channels. Uh, let's search for maker. Okay, this is maker. Here it is given, I think. Uh, no, no, no. How to trigger events? Yeah, in this you will get familiar with this. Uh, how this maker works. So in maker, whenever this link with a specific event and a specific key is requested uh, through a get or post request. Of HTML uh, you must be familiar with this uh, the post and get uh, are the two types of method to send the URL or request a URL in HTML so whenever this whole link uh, is uh, what you can say requested on this URL the event is triggered the event name is uh, you need to specify and the key this key will be specific for a specific user uh, likewise this key is specifically for me uh, as, as soon as you make an account you will get a key so you the two things will be very uh, or we can say this variable are keys and event name so just like uh, we have created an event called example so whenever we will request this link uh, the maker event will be triggered and according to ifttt recipe as soon as this event is triggered it will play music on my smartphone so we can directly test this uh, by uh, copying this and pasting on your uh, web browser so it will say the event is triggered okay your you have fired the example event and uh, my smartphone has received a notification and yes you can hear actually the camera is off as you can hear the music has started uh, playing on my smartphone okay so this was the example of uh, both ifttt and the maker channel uh, by combining both these services we can make a great great projects uh, using our embedded systems also so in program, we just need to uh, post this link or URL whenever a button is pressed or if we attach a sensor, uh, we need to just post this uh, link through our Wi-Fi module or whenever uh, we want or whenever button is pressed or whenever sensor is triggered or anything. So as soon as we post this link, our work is done. The IFTTT will be looking after the rest of the things according to our recipe. So how to embed this on our code? Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the code for this uh, IoT button project 
and this code is very very simple as you all know we need to just post a link through this Wi-Fi module so how to do this let's see first of all this including this library and SSID and password I'm sorry SSID and password uh, you need to define according to your uh, router and the uh, yeah, router then uh, the button uh, button pin and the LED pin are 5 and 16 uh, which are nothing but the D1 pin and the D0 pin of ESP8266 12 board then the host name is of course the maker.ifttt.com this will be same for all the users and the button state is initially add, uh, attached to slow or rather I have uh, on the hardware side I also pulled down this button pin via 10k resistor in setup we have defined the input output and the board red and the by default this led is high that is in an off state so this is uh, the common things okay the starting with uh, the logic so whenever the button is high or whenever the button is pressed and the value is 1 which is uh, here by default it is 1 if the button is pressed and value is 1 so serial print will be button pressed Wi-Fi will be connected to the SSID and password uh, provided in the code and uh, it will connect it will and if the it is not connecting or not connected it will continuously try to connect as it is in while loop as soon as it's connected it will turn on the LED which will show that uh, it is connected to the uh, Wi-Fi and the button is pressed so this is uh, just for the status then port is 80 then it will be connecting to the host name and uh, through the port 80 that is to the maker.ifttt.com it will be connecting and if it doesn't connect that means that there is a problem in the network so i have uh, written here is a weak network okay then we need to provide the url uh, that is we need to provide that uh, link after maker.ifttt.com that is hash trigger uh, sorry slash trigger slash uh, here we will change the event name as we have created an event called example so we will turn uh, changes to example width it is same key it is same and you need to change this key according to your key mine is uh, i've already pasted here so this is the link we are gonna trigger through this wi-fi module then client.print will simply post or we can say request this link via get get request method through http 1.1 host which is the host name and uh, uh, here is the url okay i was searching for the url so url host name and the close connection close so this is basically a method of get request so we are requesting a link after that we will be turning that value to zero so that doesn't come into the loop again delay will be on a five second and uh, after five seconds the led will be turned off <laughs> so this was only the code and there is nothing in the code there is nothing in the hardware there is simply the logic and the logic is of course by ifttt and it's a great logic we can do amazing thing with this logic so let's upload this code uh, I will turn on the camera and let's upload this code to our ESP266 board the smartphone you can uh, see in this video I have already installed an app of IFTTT and created an account also so as you can see the recipe will be already in this app which we have created in our uh, on the laptop as you can see that this is the example event is already in this my recipes so it is synced with my phone okay i will just turn off this okay so the code is uploaded we'll open the serial monitor and we'll just press this button uh, okay so it was showing connecting and the led turned on means it is connected to the wi-fi okay i received the notification from ifttt and okay as you can see that music started playing so one more time we'll repeat this procedure uh, we'll just turn off and remove this notification I'm pressing this button again okay notification and the song so here you go this is the iot button i created one more event which will post a uh, status on my Facebook I will just uh, show you by uploading that uh, event name uh, I forgot it, that event name I will just uh, look into the app and upload that also uh, this event is a test okay so I will just change here example with test and rest of all the things will remain same let's upload it and uh, let's see it will post a status on my Facebook page so I will open my Facebook and uh, here So it will go into my okay i already connected or linked my facebook account also with this ifttt so here it is uh, 
it will be posting okay so it is done uploading and we are ready to press this magical button so I have pressed this button LED turned on and uh, as LED turned on okay I got the notification that the event test occurred so just refresh this and I think there will be a post on my Facebook page okay here is the post as you can see that hey at June at June 1 2016 at 12 30 p.m. someone have pressed that button so this was the simplest yet most useful project using this IOT button okay so in the end you can assemble all the components and shoulder it on a PCB and you can even package it uh, like this with this it will look much more attractive and would be much more convenient for your application you can easily stick it on your wall or a door you can easily place it on your desk or in your car so make your own IOT button and let me know for what application you have made it till then subscribe to our channel for more such amazing projects thanks for watching